Alright boys, Trials has been going on now for a few days and we officially have a list of the most used weapons and the amount of kills earned by each of those weapons across all of Destiny 2. I'm talking all the platforms together. And this list is, well, it's kind of a meme, it's kind of funny, it's kind of sad, honestly it's a mixture of everything, I don't know how to feel about it. So today, I, Papa MyFi, am going to go over the top five most used weapons in Trials and their corresponding god rolls, if the weapon can have random rolls, of course. But before we do get started, you know the drill. If you're new and only, okay, only if you enjoy the videos, then be sure to subscribe. Also, if you want to hit your boy with a follow over on Twitter, then that would make my day. I have some very, very bad tweets that you probably won't enjoy, but hey, it was worth a shot. Okay, enough of the plugs, let's get into it. So just to clarify, all the data I'm about to show was provided by Destiny Trials Report, link in the description. It is constantly updating, so if you're watching this a few days after it gets posted, then what I'm about to say may change. So coming in at number five, we have Beloved, or Beloved, however you wanna pronounce it. It is currently sitting at 1,676,646 total kills. It can be farmed through the Menagerie, in case you're wondering, Rune of Jubilation in the top slot, and then any red rune in the left slot will yield a beloved, or beloved, you know, whatever, I'm just gonna say beloved, from the final chest. For the God Roll in column one, you're gonna want Fluted Barrel for that massive increase to handling, but if you don't get it, but get every other perk I'm about to mention, then I wouldn't worry about it too much. Now, for column two, we have three great options. Flared Magwell for an increase to stability and reload speed, Tactical Mag for an increase to stability, mag size, and reload speed. And finally, my personal favorite, Accurized Rounds for that increase to range, but more importantly, Bullet Magnetism. Now, column three, and here we only have one good option, Snapshot Sights. It's a super simple perk, but makes all the difference. Now, for column four, we have two options. The first is box breathing, which to some of you all may sound weird, but let me explain. As of the release of Season of the Worthy, 90 RPM snipers can no longer one-shot supers to the dome piece, but if you have on box breathing, then it's like nothing ever happened. Just ADS, wait a few seconds for box breathing to kick in, and you'll be able to take down them pesky supers with ease. Now, the other option, which in my opinion is the best option, Quick Draw. Just like Snapshot Sights, Quick Draw is a very simple perk that makes all the difference. And if you put both Snapshot Sights and Quick Draw together, well, you're about to have a very crispy filling sniper on your hands. Now, getting on to number four, we have something I never thought I would see. Shuros Regime. It is currently sitting at 1,775,138 total kills. My god, looking at those numbers really brings back memories of the very first Iron Banner in Destiny 1. Literally, Shuros Regimes everywhere. If you remember that or you played back then, please let me know. I'm actually curious to see how many of you all watching this video actually played Destiny 1, like the very first Iron Banner that far back. Getting into the perks, in column one, we have Hammerforge Rifling for an increase to range. Column two, Tactical Mag for an increase to stability, mag size, and reload speed. Column three, we find two perks that you can swap between. Spinning up, which states holding down the trigger increases rate of fire, and then dual speed receiver, which states when aiming down sights, the weapon rate of fire slows while weapon damage increases. Then column four, we have hand laid stock for a flat increase to stability. And finally, the exotic perk Suros Legacy, which states the bottom half of each magazine deals bonus damage and has a chance to return health on kill. Now, the only advice I can give here, because I mean, Suros is an auto and well, autos are pretty easy to use and they're very forgiving, is to make sure you're using spinning up in column three. Now, why you may ask? Well, if you begin to pre-fire around a corner at an enemy, you will effectively be at the maximum rate of fire by the time you begin to do damage. And also by that time, you'll more than likely be at around half your mag because of how fast it's shooting. And well, thanks to the exotic perk, will make the gun start dealing double the damage. If you have not tried Suro since the new season, then I highly recommend you do. I'm not kidding. Once that thing gets ramped up and starts firing really quick, the TTK is stupidly fast. Now coming in at number three, we have Mindbender's Ambition. Like honestly, are any of you surprised that this made the list? It is currently sitting at 
844,610 total kills. Now, I have made multiple videos on this shotgun already, so I'm not going to go too in-depth as you can just click on the little eye in the top right-hand corner of the screen for that, but I will quickly go over the god roll, and there are two, so listen up. God roll number one, we have full choke for column one, assault mag or accurized rounds for column two, snapshot sights for column three, and quick draw for column four. Then, on to god roll number two, which is my personal favorite, column one, hammer forged rifling, column two, accurized rounds, column three, slide shot, and finally column four, quick draw. This shotgun is so widely used due to it being a hard-hitting aggressive frame shotgun that can put guardians down in one shot very consistently. It's also the only shotgun that can roll slide shot quick draw in the game, which are two fantastic perks when it comes to shotguns. All around, it's either you use this gun non-stop and you love it, or you despise everyone that uses it. Now coming in at number two, we have a weapon that I have recently fallen in love with. I dropped a We Ran Out of Metals, metal, I guess, the second game of me using it like ever on stream the other night, Revoker. It is currently sitting at 3,566,068 total kills. This is a crucible pinnacle weapon that is, in all honesty, one of the easier crucible pinnacle weapons to obtain. In column one, we have hammer forged rifling for an increase to range and recoil, but a drawback to handling. Column two, accurized rounds for a flat increase to range. Column three, snapshot sights for a lightning fast ADS speed. And finally, column four, the pinnacle perk, if you will, reversal of fortune, which reads, missing a shot returns the bullet to the magazine after a short duration. Now, a lot of people argue that Beloved is a better sniper than Revoker, but after the nerf to 90 RPM snipers and their inability to kill supers with a headshot, well, Revoker has begun to rise in popularity significantly. But that isn't the big reason it's number two on the list with over 3 million kills. It's because of its pinnacle perk, Reversal of Fortune. With the ability to shoot a shot, miss and then have that shot return to your mag is so good when it comes to trials. Trials right now is being played by people keeping their distance and being patient for that first pick. If your team is able to get that first kill, then quickly put pressure on the two other players, well, nine times out of 10, you will win that round. So having a sniper that can miss and not having to worry about retrieving ammo is very clutch. It's also good if you're on controller, so yeah. And finally, the biggest meme, I mean number one, we have hard light. This weapon is currently sitting at, and get ready for it, 6,720,265 total kills. Yeah, that's almost double the kills from number two. Getting into the perks, honestly, none of them matter except for the exotic perk, Volatile Light, which states, rounds fired from this weapon have no damage fall off, over penetrate targets and ricochet off hard surfaces. Projectile damage increases after bounce. Now, let me translate. Whether you're in someone's face or halfway across Narnia, you will be doing the same damage. The gun's bullets bounce off everything and it is very visible where they're going after ricocheting. And if you hit someone with a bullet that just bounced off a surface, well, guess what? You're doing double the damage. Now, it doesn't stop there, as when we look at the magazine size, my god, this thing has nearly 50 bullets. 50! Most ARs don't even have that with a backup mag mod on. Now, you might be thinking that there's some drawback, right? Like this ability has to be terrible due to it having no damage fall off, right? Well, you would be right, but a few updates back, Bungie removed the terrible screen shake that it used to have, effectively turning it into a laser. Now, you wanna know the best part? This thing pairs perfectly with number two on the list, Revoker. You get a quick kill with Revoker, then just whip out hard light and start blasting at the revive orb. If the orb just so happens to be in a narrow hallway or small enclosed space, even better as you'll probably end up hitting their teammates that are trying to revive them with a ricochet bullet and getting double the damage. I am not encouraging the use of this weapon, but hey, if you can't beat them, join them. And there we go. Those are the current top five weapons in Trials of Osiris right now. Like I said, if you want to take a look at the numbers yourself, then the link to Destiny Trials Tracker will be in the description. Now I need something from you. That's right, you. What has your loadout been looking like? I want to know, you know, what has, you know, your main kinetic been? What has your main energy been? What has your heavy been? I want to know your full loadout and even get into, you know, like what class you're playing, what subclass, what exotics are you utilizing? Everything. Let me know in the comment section below. 
Now I would like to take the time to thank everyone that has joined the channel as a member. We've literally like quadrupled in channel members and I can't thank you all enough. I will begin putting up the names of all the current members in the future at the end of my videos as a thank you. So if you do wanna go the extra mile in supporting me, then you can by clicking the join next to the subscribe button. Thank you all, I seriously couldn't be doing this without you. Now to wrap it all up, if you enjoyed the video, then be sure to drop a like and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.